Ocean Voyage 20 was headed south toward the equator and the storm activity was well to the north. Crossing the equator, the season switched from spring to autumn. Seas were slight, skies were clear, and the temperature remained a balmy 85, and ocean continued to sparkle like liquid gold. What you just heard here, folks, was a snippet out of <laughs> Jefferson's Aged at Ocean Bourbon oh, man. Voyage Number Twenty. That is today's review. We are uh, we're trying Jefferson's Ocean, or we have tried it before, if you can tell by the volume of it. <laughs> Jefferson's Ocean, unlike their other bottles, uh, it's not not sourced by them. We didn't get exactly where it was sourced from. Could be an MGP. Could be somewhere else. It is 90 proof, and the biggest difference from this over their traditional bourbons is that it is aged entirely in a boat at sea. So there's a few different aspects to that. The obvious ones are the sea air and the motion of uh, the bourbon thrashing around in the barrels with the ocean. Mm -hmm. Another one that I read that was pretty interesting was the temperature. The uh, the underside of the boat where the barrels are stored gets well over 100 degrees, which is a, it's, um, a little bit of a different temperature profile that you'd get from where most of their stuff yeah. is aged in Kentucky. Yeah, usually it's what hot, cold, hot, cold. They yeah. get that cycle versus this is just seems like a constant temperature. So. Yeah. And, and so uh, if you're not terribly familiar with the difference between the flavor profiles of bourbon versus like a scotch, that's, the, that's like a, a signature mm -hmm. uh, aspect of bourbon is that, that huge temperature fluctuation. That's the reason why a, an eight-year-old bourbon tastes aged more than a 20-year-old scotch. It's because of that intense temperature differences throughout the year mm -hmm. gives you that a much faster aging process. That's why a 15-year-old bourbon would likely be disgusting. A 15-year-old scotch is pretty standard. It gets up well above that. So, yeah. Uh, anywho, we are gonna uh, we're gonna give this a shot. We opened it a few months ago. Took a few sips, and it's left there. So we've uh, we let it open. We're gonna get. It's been a long time. That's yeah, the only time fresh... I had it, and I don't honestly remember anything about it. Mm. So let's uh, refresh ourselves here and. Uh... See what the, the Pirates bourbon has in store for us. <laughs> Absolutely. You may notice Colby and I have a guest with us today. Antonio is here for the review. Hello, everyone. He is uh, a good friend, part of my family, and yep. uh, newer to bourbon, but he's going to help us test this one out. So yep. we'll start with our nose. Cheers, Cheers fellas. gentlemen. Right off the bat, though, very light. Very light mm -hmm. in color, yeah. Very light in nose, too. Really light yeah. in the nose. Sweet. Yes. Yeah, yeah sweet. there's no yep. mint no ethanol. Yeah, no yeah. ethanol whatsoever. Nope. Yeah, what's the proof on this stuff? Ninety. Ninety. Okay. Ninety plus. I mean it's really light. Yeah. It's I it taste almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean there's like a sweetness to it though. I don't know if it's maybe the corn and the if it's just the corn or Sweetness of the air. <laughs> <laughs> Must be sweet air over in that ocean. Uh, I don't even know what to, to judge it by. There's like almost <laughs> nothing. Yeah. I get what you're saying because there is like you can you smell like some like uh, some really light sweetness, but you have no idea where it's coming from. Hmm. I I can't grade it very high without being able to smell anything. I mean, it's a, I'd say two, just because there's yeah. a sweetness to it, but I just... Yeah, it's not bad. There's no ethanol. There's nothing negative about it. There just isn't enough there to isn't really anything do there. anything positive. It's like sugar water. All right, we're two in the nose. Yeah. Not much we can do there. Keep going. It has a lot more flavor than it does nose. Mm -hmm. It's um, earthier than I... It's earthier. A little sweet. Still sweetness. Yeah. Tastes a little ethanol, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get a little bit of heat up front. You, it's, um, let me try it again before I say this. It, it's not a bourbon profile at all, mm -hmm. right? Like there's, I don't get a lot of vanilla. I don't get a lot of oak. You get a little bit of both. There is a sweetness, but it's, it's yeah. not coming from a vanilla like you would normally. It almost or tastes like a sweet rye. Yeah. It's definitely, it's got a little pepperness to it, a little pepperiness to it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's pretty good. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, like Bib and Tucker a little bit. Bib and Tucker, I got um, I think it's Sagamore Spirits, their rye whiskey. I got that in my ca uh, my cabinet, and 
I think it reminds me of that a little bit. Which is a marketed rye whiskey. Which is why this is throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, it's peppery. The more you drink it, the more pepper you get. Yeah. Like yeah. like any other heat. It's uh it's pretty it's pretty good though. I <clears throat> at first sip I didn't know if I was gonna like it because you get a little bit of pepper, there's a touch of ethanol yeah. up front, and you get quite a bit of earth with the sweetness. And uh, a lot of times that earthiness will take over everything, but it actually has like a decent yeah. flavor profile. It's average for me. It's two and a half. Like I would throw it at. I would have said a three, but I'm okay with two and a half. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't. It doesn't do anything for me. Like if I buy the, because this isn't a cheap bottle. No, this is an eighty dollar, eighty plus dollar yeah, bottle, depending on where you're at. Eighty bucks. Yeah. And if I'm buying a bourbon, I don't want this flavor profile yeah. that, like to say like if I'm buying a rye or if I'm buying something that's a high rye bourbon then you know I expect I mean it's very, I mean I don't know what the Mashville combination is so I mean it's very well could be a, rye, a high rye bourbon and I might just be looking like an idiot right now which is fine no, I, I get let me know in the comments that. it's not marketed um, as such but, it's just yeah. throwing me off like I expected more of a traditional bourbon profile out of it versus that pepperiness that I get, and I feel like we've had a, a string of these lately. <laughs> yeah, we've had some peppery so. Yeah, so I get. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I guess I was expecting a bourbon with like some saltwater taffy mixed in. <laughs> a pirate tear at the end. Yeah, of the it, a pirate tear. It's not like that at all. No, it's it's uh, it's, pre it's pretty earthy. It does have some yeah. sweetness to it. It's not hard to drink. It's probably. I mean, if I had to guess, it's probably just how the aging process is. Yeah. Because we just reviewed Smoke Wagon Small Batch, which isn't obviously aging a boat. You know, going to Last sea. Week. It's not. It's not circling the globe forty three times in the bottom of a ship. It's just in the dry heat of Las Vegas, and if I'm, if I remember correctly, they're aged in a hot environment similar to what this would be. So maybe it's just instead of getting that cold, hot, cold, hot transition like you get in Kentucky and stuff, it's just that dry heat maybe brings out that rye to stronger. Would be my educated guess. Yeah, I would be curious to see how it compares to other voyages. This one talks about typhoon season and I don't know how much of that is just it sort of um, creating a story that reads exciting versus maybe there's something unique about I mean I can go in the golf during 20. hurricane season and it doesn't make me taste any different <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'm a two and a half on the palate let's get this finish out of the way yeah um, I mean I'm probably you finished yours yeah I did so obviously I didn't hate it <laughs> I think I'm about the same on the yeah. finish. It doesn't. It His doesn't really. Is the same. I mean, it doesn't transition, right? It's not a bad bourbon. No. Once you once you have a few sips and you kind of know what you're getting yourself into, you know what you're drinking. It's it's easy to drink, but yeah, not my favorite. Not yeah, my favorite. I agree with that. It is easy to drink. It's not like you saw. We we all finished it pretty quickly. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't drink overly hot. The pepper mm -hmm. isn't overwhelming. Um, there's nothing just there's nothing that's that exciting about, about it. it. I would good. bet that I would bet that uh, yeah, people who like other types of whiskey, like we're big bourbon fans yeah. above all other types of whiskey. Mm -hmm. But if you're more familiar with like a Scotch or maybe even a Canadian whiskey or one of the some of those that aren't quite as sweet as the bourbons, then this might be right in your wheelhouse mm -hmm. uh, for our flavor flavor profiles i'm with you we did two two and a half two and a half so we're sitting at uh two and yeah, point three yeah or something. two and a third yeah something like that uh so yeah it's uh not our favorite but there's nothing wrong with it there's yeah. nothing bad about it there's just nothing overly exciting about it either so probably go good in an old fashion that's yeah what you get that usually you like to use like a rye or something yeah like there's that. nothing like yeah out a little bit nothing wrong with that any uh anything else in your palette over there no Pretty standard stuff. Yeah. Yep. All right, well, <clears throat> grab a bottle if you want to try it. If you have a different voyage and you want to uh, you want to give us your notes and we can we can sort of talk through it and see if maybe there is a difference between voyages or if that's more hype than anything, absolutely shoot us a note, let us know, uh, and we'll go try and find another another uh, yeah. voyage log. And we'll read that one and see if it's as, as, as exciting we'll as see, 20. Yeah, and a voyage 20 went through quite the ride. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, please, yeah. and uh, check out our new live show, Bourbon and Balls. If you're a football fan, Definitely. thanks everybody. Cheers. Good night.